first step is to get into groups of threes. So why don't we first get into groups of threes and then decide which two, if somebody has a role play that they'd like to do, decide which two are going to be the role play E's. Okay? So do that right now. And I'll it's give the other patterns. Role yeah. Role players, what your job is, is to pick some kind of a content and that involves a, a conflict. Also, role players, your jobs are to role play. Remember I was saying yesterday, one of you should at least, you can, you can incorporate whatever you want of what we've learned so far, but I'd like for one of you to be chunking down and going to counterexamples and the other person to be chunking up and changing the frame size. So one person is going to be kind of going, listen, but looking at the big picture and taking this, these things and generalizing it, the other person is going to be saying, well, but let's take this piece of that and that doesn't fit in and so on and so forth. So I'd like you to, to role play, to see if you can figure into your role play some basic element like that. Now obviously this isn't a test of how well you know these patterns. So it's, if, if it's not exact, it's okay, it's no big problem. But I'd like to have you ha at least, I think you'll get an interesting insight into certain types of conflicts and personalities if one of you keeps going to the big stuff and the other one keeps going to the little things. Okay. So. What's the issue? You choose that yourself. Two role players, you can go out and choose that yourself. It could be uh, We're gonna go get married. Yeah, okay. Now, lead third person, negotiators, you stay in here. Let's go get married. Negotiators, you're going to stay in here. Role players, go ahead outside and figure out your role play. You'll have about 10 minutes. You're a negotiator? I'm a negotiator. I thought you were a fighter. Good. Yes, yes. OK. Close that door now. What I'm going to do is to give you guys three patterns. The first pattern rule is going to be, all right, we'll go over them. And actually, what I'm going to have you do is use these patterns to the best that you can with the folks that you're going to be working with. And then um, at the end, you know, you, I think it'd be interesting for you to explain the pattern, or at least try to explain it to the person so you can let them know what you were doing. And then we'll also go over them, whatever other confused, confusion spots there might be at the end of the exercise. So here's going to be year three. Hierarchy of criteria. Metaframe. And apply to self. So, hot, yes. Yes. Right. Two are outside being the, uh, con you're going to role play a conflict together. So you work out your conflict. One of you is going to chunk up and one of you will chunk down. And the negotiator, you are going to get the, the techniques to try to resolve it. So your goal here is not to try to win any arguments with these people. Your goal is to try to set a frame around what they're doing and use some of these belief things in order to help them to resolve the conflict. Hierarchy of criteria is a very important one in that its purpose is basically to identify something that is more important than the issues that they're arguing about right there. Or if it's with another person who has a particular belief, to identify something that is more important than the particular uh, belief issue that they're dealing with. So if somebody goes, I'm so mad because my daughter misbehaves, you can say, is it more important that she loves you than she just behaves correctly or something? That would be an attempt. I don't know how, I mean, I'm not saying how well it would work, but that would be an attempt to move to a level, something that's more important, and remember our logical levels. Capabilities are typically more important than specific behaviors. Beliefs are more important than capabilities, and identity is more important than beliefs. So, as you listen to the people arguing, try to find out, are they arguing about a specific behavior? Nine times out of ten, it's going to come down to something like that. 
So your job first is to start to re refer their conflict to something that's more important. So for example, if you have a people in a business that are arguing about how they're running the business, what you might want to do is to say, well, don't you think it's more important to be successful than just to be right? You want your company to be successful, don't you? So what you do is you first chunk above, you go to something more important and typically a higher level, more abstract than the issue that they're dealing with. This is the, this is the thing where you set, it's kind of like setting an outcome frame to begin with. Uh, you have two people, uh, say, a family members that are arguing, and you're saying, well, what is your goal? What is it that you really want to get out of what we're doing here? Okay? It's, it's not going to just be to win the argument. They're trying to win the argument to get to things that are more important. So what you want to do, as far as hierarchies then, is to refer to things that can be more important. What you might want to do is, let's go over a couple of the examples where somebody goes, I can't do X because I've never done it before. You might want to say, isn't it more important to challenge your boundaries than to simply identify and reinforce them? Because the person in this belief, they're saying, uh, here's this problem that I have. And you can say, well, isn't it more important to challenge boundaries than just to simply make boundaries? Because so that would be trying to go to something that's more important. Um, because you're trying to take, that's a specific behavior and you're going to capabilities of challenging them. If I care about others, they'll take advantage of me. Would you rather be taken advantage of or completely ignored? In other words, they're kind of trying to say, isn't it more important to at least have contact with people than, I mean, if you didn't have any contact, you didn't care about anybody, wouldn't that actually be worse? Again, it's reevaluating it from the point of view of something that is more important. The next one, you relate so you don't care about me. Don't you think it's more important to complete things than just to be on time? The person is trying to go to something more important. Um, you say mean things, so you're a bad person. Don't you think it's more important to be realistic than nice? So again, the maneuver here and the kind of things that you would say to the people as they're arguing is to say, wait a minute, you guys. Don't you think that it's more important for you to present a model to your children of how people should communicate than how to be right at the expense of somebody else. That would be a, that would be like an attempt to make a hierarchy. You're, you're making their role model to their children more important than getting their particular point across. So that would be a hierarchy. Yeah. No, I was going to say something about, about the internet where you put the camera and had the woman about the carpet. Right, the right. Carpet. She, uh, it's talking about a, another, it's kind of like a context reframe where somebody's complaining about the, the dirt on the carpet and say, yeah, imagine if you had a clean carpet and nobody around. And footprints in the carpet. Yeah. So, for, yeah, people would be footprints. And again, the context was it's more important to have people and to be in relationship than it is to have a clean house. So that's that maneuver. And I think you'll find that as a, a negotiator, that's an extremely powerful tool. It'll get people out of their content things right away. So that's one of your tools. Next tool, metaframe. Metaframe and apply to self are probably some of the most interesting of the slide of mouth. They're the most unique to slide of mouth because some of these other things you can be familiar with from logic and so on and so forth. But a metaframe is a little bit different. What you do in a metaframe is, as it says here, you're evaluating the belief that the person has, not yet, uh, from 